Hello everyone, this is the Dread Pirate once again, and as promised, we're going to have more Marvel vs. Capcom, but this is, it's time for the first official entry in the series, Marvel vs. Capcom, the straight up, just Marvel Comics vs. all your great favorite Marvel Comics superheroes vs. all your favorite Capcom franchises, that's what this game is all about, and that's what we got on today, and uh, so I've been having a little, little bit of trouble pulling my hair out here, getting my computer to work, but here we're good to go, uh, so the game's about to start, now before we really get going, um, I want... I, I meant to say last time, cheating in this game is insane, and I want to show you exactly what we're getting into before we get started here. All right, uh, so, all right, like, before before we start, of course, my character for today is going to be uh, Hulk. The Incredible Hulk, once again, is going to be, uh, you know, smashing. Hulk smashing his way through this game, and it's going to be awesome. But on top of that, we have Roll, Mega Man's robot sister. Uh, Saki, who is a character, I think, from a dating game. Like a dating game, and she, she's a little soldier lady with a laser gun. Well, I'll talk more about her later, I think, as we go on. But um, you have infinite strikers, always max super, enable all characters. This is important because this enables for the, like the second to last level. Um, it's it's possible for the game to spring a secret character on you. So basically, that's why I like to hit that. But also, you know, this is like this makes it playable, so you can like play like Red Venom, Carnage, uh, or Red Hulk, or a lot of the crazy uh, secret characters they have in the game, like Shadow Lady. And um, we've got infinite duo time, uh, infinite air jump, action speed, and no chain limit, and no hit stop. What this basically means is, like, unlike the other cheat codes I normally use, where I just really give, me, give myself max supers, which I'll have here as well. Um, like, this in, this in this game, it's like your character turns into, like, he, like, goes Super Saiyan. He goes Super Saiyan, gets absolutely crazy. There's even more for specific characters. So if you're Captain America, you can select, select whether he has a shield enabled or disabled. Uh, Mega Man... Uh, you can uh, select whether the char the charge is uh, controllable or not controllable, whatnot. Uh, you've got stuff for uh, Mega Man and uh, which Mega Man, uh, which which uh, weapon Mega Man and Roll have. Uh, you can you can set it so that if they go into their uh, beat plane or rush drill mode, they'll just just stay in at the whole level. Um, there and there's even a couple stuff for uh, Infinite Hike Hikey Harry Suki for. Uh, sh uh, Strider Hero and Infinite uh, Haiku Time for War Machine. I'm not 100% sure what that means. I believe that means with, like, in his case, he's just going to be, like, hanging on the walls or on the ceiling infinitely. Um, and it, it, it gets pretty wild. But basically, what you're going to see here is it's, you're going to see, like, how sick these cheats are compared to the other games. It, it's absolutely wild. It's like, I think I think Hulk just destroyed the Earth already. Uh, just, just, just by me talking about it. Just by me talking about it. But let's, let's get started here. Uh, the plot of this game is, this game ties in a little more closely to the, uh, the Onslaught uh, comic book event. So we got our, our Marvel heroes, we've got a couple characters like Venom is here for the first time, as well as our, our couple Street Fighter characters at the top, Morgan, and a lot of Jin Satome, and a lot of these cool classic uh, Capcom characters, uh, including Mega Man and Roll here. Um, and, uh, but the plot line is about the, the Onslaught event. Uh, Onslaught is a, uh, a entity that is basically um, he's Professor Xavier with a little bit of um, uh, Magneto's evil essence in, in him that, that's come out. Alright, so for, first thing I want to... Yeah, okay, so now to see what I'm talking about here. So we have Jin Satome here. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Like, you don't even see the... Yeah, you don't even see me do, like, the superhero, like, like everything blocks out. No, it just... Boom. And on top of that, look how fast Hulk's moving. Boom, boom, boom. It's just, it's absolutely crazy. It's like, it's like, you just, you let it go, it, like, this could be over, in and over of itself, like, in just, like, a, a moment. Like, boom, there's Mega Man. I may not even have time to talk about it anyway. Uh, so Jin over here is actually from the uh, another fighting game called Cyberbots Full Metal Madness, where you just play as a mech. It's actually a really good game. You can also emulate it on May. I might sh on on Mame, which is what I'm using to emulate these games. Uh, I'd recommend. I definitely recommend playing it. It's pretty good. I also it it uh, has it, it's a sequel to a beat 'em up called Armored Warriors, which is again mechs running around beating up other mechs. It's like beat 'em ups are actually my, one of my favorite genres of gaming. Uh, our background here is Strider's level. This is like the future Soviet Union, and of course we're fighting Morgan uh, from Darkstalkers, and uh, and that's Angel Heart. That's her secret character, and we'll have there's Saki, and again Saki is supposed to be from like a g dating sim game, but she's like a soldier that uh, like so they you know they, they act, she's actually combat relevant, but it was like yeah they have like all sorts of crazy Capcom games in, in this in this. Uh, uh, or like cameos from various Capcom games in this in this entry. Uh, probably the best and most beloved is, is uh, Arthur from Ghouls and from Ghosts and Goblins. But uh, yeah, let's crush uh, crush Morgan here. Taking out Morgan. 
Captain Commando also is from a really great beat 'em up game, which is uh, definitely worth checking out. Which you can also play on main. I think you can also it's also available on the Sega Genesis. So, so we got Hulk and Roll, Mega Man's little sister here teaming up. Uh, the one thing that's odd about this game is most of the characters you're playing are heroes. Venom's the only villain that's straight up playable. Uh, the rest of them are just kind of mean. Like the secret characters, it's kind of open to interpretation. I mean, like they call like the other version of Venom Red Venom, which. If you know anything about the com comics, there's Carnage, so why not just call it Carnage? Why not just make it Carnage? They made a red version of Blackheart in Marvel Superheroes vs. Uh, Street Fighter and called it Mephisto, even though Mephisto doesn't look like that. So why not just, like, make Red Venom Carnage? Uh, interesting enough, Red Hulk, who is in this game, is... Um, it's interesting because eventually they did make a Red Hulk character. But this, it, it actually appeared... Red Hulk appeared here in this game first before they even had a story behind Red Hulk. Red Hulk is actually uh, General Ross, General Thunderbolt Ross, you know, uh, Hulk's original longtime villain, uh, imbued with, with a different type of gamma radiation, which he did to himself so he could finally bring in the Hulk. And now, the, the most unfair fight ever, the, the Incredible Hulk versus Street Fighter characters. But, you know, the Street Fighter characters, they're badass. They're like, no, we're going to beat you with Kung Fu. Because we're, we're so good at Kung Fu, we can shoot fireballs. So we don't give a shit. We're going to bring it. And it just, again, it's like, yeah, it, it's unreal. It's like, I'm pro I may, if I play my cards right, I may never even have to use roll in this game. So we'll see what happens. Um, so yeah. Um, there's a lot to talk about this game. And of course, like, it, the way I, the way I'm playing it, 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 again, it's, in, the biggest thing I noticed with this game is, like, you can beat this game in, like, less than five minutes if you know what you're doing with, when you cheat the way I'm cheating right now. It's like, yeah, it's, it's not even, not even funny. It's like, it's, it's crazy. Um, now this background, I actually don't know what game this is from. I, I'd, I'd be interested to learn about it, but that's, I'm, I'm sure that's from like a Capcom game. I'm just not sure which one it is. Um, that I'd be trying to be funny. Uh, Ryu and Strider. Um, Strider is like an insanely hard game and definitely worth checking out. Um, but it's really good. Uh, and it's also, it, it's, it's got an arcade version. You can play it on MAME. It's also on the Sega Genesis. So, and our back, our backstory here is Darkstalkers. There's, uh, Lord Raptor. The rock and roll zombie in the background. And, uh... Ryu's testing his martial arts skill in the Hulk, and he gets smashed. Strider is a badass... The premise on Strider is, I believe, he's a badass ninja from the future. And that sword of his is actually, like, a laser sword. And, uh, he does a lot of cool little things. He has, like, robots that back him up and whatnot. But the Strider's pretty cool. Um... Yeah, this is this is more or less what did it. It's like this is the beginning of like, it's like they kept going with it. It was, it was started with just X Men, the X Men teaming up with Street Fighter, and then like, let's not stop. Let's like put everything in it. And it's like by the time we got to like, people just like dreaming and like building stuff on Mame for like, prior to uh, not Mame, uh, but on um, uh, uh, what's it called? Mugen on Mugen, uh, just in anticipation of Marvel vs. Capcom three. It was like for years ahead, people already made their own Thor sprites and already made, like, Dante and Sephiroth and all sorts of crazy characters. Um, and Marvel's Capcom 3, at the end of the day, I thought was pretty cool. We got to see all these fun characters. This is my favorite background, by the way, because I, I, I'm a big Mega Man fan. So, yeah, here's Dr. Wily running around with all the robots in the background. And I'm going to go beat up my friend, Captain America. Cap's going to try to bring the Hulk in. It's a bad idea. And, uh... And, okay, on these little videos, I have not done it yet, but here's Gambit, who I don't think is, like, who made his first appearance in X-Men vs. Street Fighter. Uh, at least his first video game appearance. In the comics, he was in there way longer than that. Um, but yeah, so it's nice to see him return for this game. Uh, he was he was very... Uh, he, he's definitely... like he, he, Gambit, uh, for his first appearance in X-Men vs. Street Fighter, he's one of those characters who's kind of hard... He's... he's um, He's difficult. He, he's he's difficult to master. He's like a very um, like like my typical experience running into him is he'll always kick my ass when I fight him. But it's like, you know, oh uh oh, secret character. Uh, but like you know, he, he, like when using him, he's difficult. So this is Gold War Machine, which again, I for all these characters, I always like imagine there's someone else. I like in, in the case of this, it's like why can't this just be Iron Man? Because like you know, wouldn't it make sense that like well, War Machine is the main hero of this adventure? So what would Onslaught throw at throw at us? Well, he'd throw at, like, the heroes. Or throw at War Machine in particular. War Machine's friend. He'd throw... He'd mind control Iron Man. Iron Man's got, like, this crazy gold armor that looks similar to his original armor. 
you know, that would make more sense, so, um, but yeah, and, uh, so, Holt versus the rest of the, event, the Avengers against the world, um, so the Onslaught event is, again, again, Onslaught is Professor Xavier, um, like, at a certain point, he touched minds with, um, again, he's a psychic, so, like, he reached into, uh, Magneto's mind, and a bit of Magneto's hatred and, and, and vengeance was latched into his mind, and it basically caused, um, Xavier to temporarily go insane, his power spiraled out of control, and it created this malevolent psychic energy ent entity that wound up wanting to uh, take over the world. And actually, went, uh, there's Anita, by the way. That's Anita from uh, Darkstalkers, whose only playable game is Marvel Super Heroes. Uh, and she's a secret character in this game. Uh, and now we have a mirror match of the Hulk, and his, his color swap is the Gray Hulk, another one of Hulk's personalities, where he's just kind of a... a like crime boss Mook from from New York City, you know, he just like took his uh, his semi intelligent angry form, or I prefer the good old fashioned angry Hulk. But uh, there we go. All right, now we're gonna have Hulk versus uh, Onslaught, which is pretty much how it went down in the comics. Quit hitting my fist with your head. So uh, we're gonna have our fun little dialogue here. Um, so there's Onslaught. This is looks pretty badass. Hulk crush, Hulk destroy, Hulk smash! I'll show you the true meaning of power, Hulk. So there's our, our opening dialogue. And Onslaught's no joke. He's he just gets right to it. It's like again, with cheats in place, you can you can you can beat him pretty easily, but it's like he, he does shit like that very effortlessly. And we're not even at his ultimate form here. He has the magnetic tempest, the magnetic shockwave ability, similar to Magne uh, Magneto. Uh, all right, we destroyed his... And again, this is how it happened in the comics. He, like, smashes him, and uh, it opens, like... Causes his, like, true form to manifest. In this one, they kind of show him as a giant. Uh, his face looked like that in the comics. Um, and the ability he's about to do, where he's going to drop... You know, he's got that claw. That, that's, that hurts, but it's not the worst thing he does. The worst thing he does is he shoots... Is that, where he shoots lasers in all these directions, and it does a ton of damage to you. Oh, now we have all Great. So, let's have Roll use her super move, move, where she turns into Super Roll! Jacks everybody up. So, Roll's gonna save the day. Um, let me, yeah, you know, I want to turn to the bird anyway, so. Let me see. Uh, I think it'd be stupid. Yeah, let's do the rush drill. Alright. And if I get killed here, it's, well, you know, you know why, folks. Because I had to get careless. But there we go, Roll does it. Roll kicks the shit out of Onslaught, saves the day. We're gonna get Roll's ending. Hulk and Roll team up. Roll shows up, and he's like, I did it, I beat the stage before Mega Man. Dr. Light shows up, oh, wow, you did, you did? That's impressive, Roll. Wily's evil ambitions must be stopped. Roll, I'm gonna enhance your power now, go. Yes, I'm ready to save the world, let's do it. Roll becomes adult Super Roll. Good luck, Roll. And then... Mega Man shows up late. Where is everybody? He starts crying. No. What about me? And uh, we show all the secret characters kind of hanging out together, which was fun. This is a little fun. Little, I'm, I'm going to let this play out because I think it's pretty cool. I always like to stop to, to watch it. but uh, It's just this fun little... It, these fun little interactions between all the other, like, uh, the extra characters. All the X-Men try to fight Juggernaut. I believe it's implied here that Anita did all the work and then makes Roll feel bad and start crying. Cry, bitch. Cry. It's Thor. I'm not sure who that character is. Uh, it's a little cowboy guy. Devilot from Cyberbots. There's Arthur, my man from Ghouls and Ghosts. There's Julie. Uh, there's Devilot. And uh, Iceman somehow drops Juggernaut onto her. Uh, that's Purr and Fur. Turns into Eddie, robot from Mega Man. I don't 100% know what's happening here. But... Uh, yeah, so this is Marvel vs. Capcom. So we're going to go backwards a little bit for my next Let's Play. We're going to talk about um, kind of what started all this, all these kind of Marvel games, Marvel fighting games, which is one of my personal favorite games of all time, where a lot of these characters up here appeared from X-Men Children of the Atom. Uh, but yeah, that's all for now, folks. Y'all have a great day, and this is the Dread Pirates who's going to catch you at another Let's Play. See you around, folks.